Hi everyone, Gabriella Agostinelli here with Berardi Immigration Law for your newest update in terms of submitting petitions at the border. So if you're a Canadian citizen and you need to apply for TN or L1 status, most of you know the issue is not so much getting into the United States and avoiding United States COVID-19 protection rules, but rather getting back into Canada and heeding their COVID-19 protection rules. So right now, as it stands, if you're interested in entering the United States, in order to return to Canada, you not only need to quarantine for 14 days, have a quarantine plan in place, you may be put into, into a hotel upon your entry to Canada to await, at your own cost, to await test results. But also, you need a negative PCR COVID test from the 72 hours preceding your attempted re-entry to Canada. Not a rapid test. But I'm here with good news. We've now had multiple CBSA agents, the Canadian border officers, confirm that in fact, if you're just driving into the United States for the limited purpose of applying for TN or L1 status, and you're turning right back around to Canada, while you do have to quarantine for 14 days and you do have to have a plan in place, you will not be placed in a hotel, nor will you need a negative PCR test from the 72 hours preceding entry. This is huge because it allows people to come in, for the limited purposes of applying for status and then go right back to Canada without having to stay in the United States longer to stick around to get that test. So things are changing all the time. You cannot travel without checking what your requirements are these days because you could run into hot water real, real fast. So before you travel, check out the rules, call the border security officers, Make sure you have understanding of the lay of the land because every day is a new day as we fight the coronavirus. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call our office. Take care.